Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to Granard. I'm Cheryl Grigg, head teacher at Granard, and I'm very proud of our school. All our achievements, the rich and exciting curriculum we offer and the great community we have here at Granard. We have put together this short video to show you all about our school, including the wonderful resources we have and our different approaches to teaching the curriculum. We do hope that you find the information helpful. Early years. In the early years at Granard, we believe that children learn best when they are exploring and experiencing, through meaningful interactions with others and through their play. Our early years practice is based on continuous observations and tailoring learning to the children's interests and needs. Our nursery provision starts from three years old. There is an option at Granard for your child to attend full-time or part-time. Nursery offers a play-based environment for children to learn around the seven key areas of the early years curriculum. Literacy, maths, personal, social and emotional development, communication and language, physical development, expressive art and design, and understanding the world. As well as these seven key areas, there are overarching themes which relates to your child's characteristics of effective learning. These are playing and exploring, active learning, and creating and thinking critically. The children experience their learning in nursery's wonderful environment. We have a large landscaped outside area with multitudes of learning opportunities, such as the climbing frame, a large slide, maths trolley, and mud kitchen. Inside, we have a book corner, a home corner, and our famous class fish, and many more things. When the children reach reception, we encourage independence. The children will still be focusing on the seven key areas and themes in their free play time, where the children can choose the indoor or outdoor areas. They can choose from the writing stations, math stations, construction areas, and more. Throughout the day, we also have three short lessons to structure their learning. They are literacy, maths, and phonics. At Granard, we use the Read Write Inc. phonics scheme. This is a dynamic and visual approach to teaching phonics, which continues throughout years one and two. The children love these lessons and look forward to them happening daily. Throughout your child's time at Granard, we know the importance of the positive relationship between the parent and school and child. We encourage this as early as we can and hope it will continue throughout their time at Granard. Key Stage 1 In Year 1, each child will take a phonics screening test at the end of the academic year. These phonics screening tests consist of 40 words, 20 real words and 20 nonsense or alien words. The children will be asked to sound out and blend each of these words using their phonological understanding. In Year 2, the children will also be taking their Key Stage 1 SATS assessments, which are tests that they take at the end of the academic year. Each child will have a Maths, Arithmetic and Reasoning paper, two Reading Comprehension papers and a Spelling, Punctuation and Grammar paper. In Key Stage 1, the children are given a 15-minute break in the morning at 10.45 and an hour's break at lunchtime from 12 to 1 o'clock. The children have access to a range of equipment such as basketballs and nets, footballs, hoops, tennis balls and rackets and the trim trail. The Key Stage 1 hall is used for some PE lessons such as gymnastics. The hall is also used for assemblies, clubs and workshops. There is an amazing cedar tree in the grounds of our school and this is why our school emblem is a cedar tree. Our school motto is growing together, achieving together and I feel this really illustrates the positive, supportive community feel that we have at Granard. Each week we have a whole school assembly in one of our halls where children's achievements in different aspects of their learning are celebrated. We have established 11 values, one for each month that we're at school, which all our children are encouraged to follow. 
Children are awarded certificates in our whole school assembly if they are seen to be demonstrating the value of the month. We also have six R's, which are attitudes that we expect the children to demonstrate during their learning. Again, certificates are awarded if the children show these attitudes to their learning and once they have collected all six R's, they are awarded with a special badge. We are a music mark school and are fortunate to have a dedicated music room. All classes from reception to year six have weekly lessons with our specialist music teacher. In year two, they learn the ocarina and read rhythm notation. In year three, they learn to play the recorder and start to read musical notation. In year four, our pupils build upon the skills as they learn to play a brass instrument. One class learning the trumpet and the other class the trombone. Pupils can choose to continue learning this instrument during years five and six. In recent years, our continuation groups have been full with many children enjoying the opportunity to continue learning a brass instrument. Children in years one, three and five enjoy taking part in the singing projects and perform to parents and the school community. Year three pupils also perform in the Winter Sounds concert at Burntwood School and our year five pupils perform in the Brighter Sounds concert in the Royal Festival Hall each year. Our year four brass players also performed in the Claw Ballroom at the South Bank Centre each year in concerts arranged by Wandsworth Music. A variety of music clubs are also offered during the year and children can also take piano lessons. A recent exciting addition to our music programme has been our yearly musical. Children across Key Stage 2 have taken part in our amazing productions of Oliver, The Wizard of Oz and we're currently rehearsing for our performance of Annie. Across the school we have a rich and varied computing curriculum which covers digital literacy, computer science information technology and online safety. We have a wide range of resources that the children use not only in computing but also to support their learning in other areas of the curriculum. We also use Google Classroom to complement our learning both in and outside of school. iPads, Spheros and Chromebooks are used to support and develop our pupils coding skills and put their learning into practice. Reading is at the heart of our curriculum. We inspire our children to become passionate readers by valuing books. At Granard, we are very proud of our thriving, well-stocked library, full of varied titles catering for all tastes and abilities. So whether it's picture books or long reads, there is something for everyone. The library theme continues into classrooms, which are all named after popular children's authors and have their own dedicated book corners. We also have a well-established Accelerator Reader programme in place, allowing students to track their reading progress by taking fun, interactive quizzes every time they have finished reading a book. Children in early years and Key Stage 1 have three reading books at all times in their home reading packs, including a phonics levelled book, a book to read to their adult at home, and a bedtime story for their adult to read to them. We celebrate great reading by handing out a weekly cup in assembly, to the class who has read the most words. Maths. In maths lessons, we teach microscopic steps to ensure that children have a thorough understanding of number and calculation strategies as they move up the school. Children's maths knowledge is regularly assessed and previous work revisited so that teachers can structure lessons accordingly in order to best meet the needs of their pupils. We use numbots and times table rock stars in school and for homework to make learning number bonds and times tables interactive and fast paced. English. For English lessons, a key text by a quality author is selected to match the history or geography topic and English work is linked to this book. In early years and key stage one, children are taught how to read using phonics. Alongside this, they are taught to understand what they're reading. We call these lessons guided comprehension. Children are taught to identify a range of spelling, grammar and punctuation in the books they read 
and then have the opportunity to apply these across a range of genres in their own writing. Plugs. At Granard, we use the acronym PLUGS to structure pupils' thinking and teach them metacognitive skills so that they can learn to take ownership over their thinking and their work. P stands for PACE. Pupils are asked to consider how long the work will take them and to check timings in order to be time efficient. L. Learning objective. Is the learning objective understood? How are pupils proving they are meeting the learning objective? U. Understanding. Is the task understood? What can pupils do if they don't understand? For example, look through previous work or ask support from a talk partner. G. Granard strategies. Which strategies will be most useful for the task? For example, which calculation methods could be deployed? Which writing strategies might be effective? Which PE skills would be the most successful? Are these strategies working? If not, what are the alternatives? S. Self-reflection. How well is the task going? What are pupils noticing as they are working? Could there be a more effective or efficient way to complete the task? Topic. Pupils' work is organised around a themed, half-termly topic. Alternating history and geography topics have a quality key text at their heart. For example, Dogger, Stone Age Boy, Journey to the River Sea, Beowulf and the Adventures of Odysseus. These carefully chosen texts link in with the work the children do in their English lessons for reading, writing and grammar and lead to an immersion of not only the topic but also that of great writing by quality authors. In addition, art and DT work is linked to the topic and children study the work and techniques of great artists and practitioners and apply their knowledge to producing their own art and creative inventions. Topics cover the primary national curriculum and spread across an exciting range of subjects from ancient Egypt to World War II, raging rivers to marvellous maps. The topic link trips and workshops that we provide bring learning to life. Science. In order to ensure that science is taught to the highest standard, Granard uses Empiribox to support Key Stage 2 pupils in their lessons. Empiribox is an external company that provides high quality resources and safety equipment when necessary for children to use to explore science in an investigative and inquiry-based manner. For example, when a class is taught about electricity, Empiribox will provide all the necessary equipment such as wires, buzzers and light bulbs so that pupils can learn through hands-on exploring. Special needs. We recognise that all children require an individual approach and we endeavour to provide opportunities for the children to learn through differentiated and stimulating experiences. These include the creation of our two learning support units, one for children in year one and two and the other for children in key stage two. These are run by highly experienced staff. Interventions are tailored towards the needs of the children and include Mabel, our therapy dog, Yoga, Radiate, Rufus, the reading dog, and trips to local amenities such as the shops and allotments. Our creative approach to supporting children with special needs has been accredited by the Inclusion Quality Mark. We are committed to continuous development of our inclusive practice and are currently working towards becoming a centre of excellence. At the end of Year 6, children sit their SATs in Reading and Maths. Writing is teacher assessed. In Upper Key Stage 2, children are often streamed in Maths and English. This allows for targeted smaller group teaching and prepares the children for secondary school as they get used to being taught by different teachers in different rooms. We assign weekly spelling, punctuation and grammar homework, reading and maths homework which is linked to the children's targets. All of the homework books, including revision books, are provided by the school and children take great pride in these. To support the children to meet their end of year targets, 
we assign most children a year six mentor. This will be a member of staff working within the school that can meet weekly to check in with the child's well-being and support them with their learning. Greater depth. At Granard, we are always striving for improvement and want the best possible outcomes for our children. Over the past few years, we've been trying to increase the percentage of children achieving greater depth. Working at greater depth means a child has mastered the learning expected for their age and stage and is therefore able to delve deeper. We provide a range of stimulating opportunities for able children to work together and to be suitably challenged, enabling them to meet their targets of working at greater depth. PE. At Granard, children receive a minimum of one hour's PE each week taught by Mr Ardrey, our PE teacher. In addition to this, children receive extra PE lessons from specialist coaches in sports such as dance, tennis and cricket. We're very fortunate to have our own swimming pool at Granard and make use of this by ensuring that children from reception to year four receive at least 18 weeks of swimming a year. Complementing our PE provision, we have an extensive extracurricular programme delivering breakfast, lunchtime and after school activities for children across all year groups to attend. The majority of our clubs are free to attend and all clubs are run by either teaching staff or qualified specialists. Clubs run termly and all children are encouraged to attend at least one extracurricular activity each term. We also regularly attend competitions and festivals across Wandsworth and compete in regular sports fixtures against local Putney primary schools. Our commitment to sport and competition has enabled us to achieve the Your School Game Silver Award for two consecutive years and we continue to strive to achieve the Gold Award. In addition to the extracurricular clubs and experiences we offer, we also provide a wealth of trips and residential experiences for our children. We aim to take children out on a trip at least once each half term to a place of interest which links them with the topic they're studying. We visit the Science Museum, Kew Gardens, Go Ape and the National Maritime Museum to name a few. We also provide opportunities for children to take part in residential trips. In years four and five, Children are invited to spend a week on one of the Farms for City Children farms. The children have an amazing time learning about looking after animals and where our food comes from, as well as learning to be more independent away from their home environment. In Year 6, we take the children on a camping trip. The children spend three nights under canvas at a scout camp and take part in adventurous activities such as rock climbing, zip wiring, canoeing and archery as well as fun team building exercises. I hope that you have found this video useful and that you have had the opportunity to see the great experiences we give our children here at Granard. Applications for reception places need to be submitted to the local authority where you live by Friday the 15th of January. If you're interested in applying for a nursery place, please contact our school office on 0208 788 3606 and they will email you an application form which will need to be returned to the school office by Friday the 5th of February. If you require any further information, do look on our school website or contact us via email or phone. We look forward to hearing from you.